Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's and I have here another Vauxhall Vivaro, also known as a Renault Traffic. So I've just come to look at this one and it's got either a check injection or check anti-pollution fault, something of the other. So we'll get inside and have a look. So this is the Vauxhall badged one. Okay, engine started. We have check anti-pollution system, spanner, light and engine management light on. 68,000 miles. We've got a check injection and check anti-pollution system fault there. So I'm just using this smart safe uh, STO8, I think it's called. Just gonna do a health health report. Oh, it's got a bit more clear if we hold a screen down here. So it's just, it's just going through at the minute, scanning through all the different systems. Okay, we're in so we've got a fault with the air temperature sensor circuit implausible signal uh yeah i think i've done many of those in the past doesn't really tell you there what air signal it is air temperature sensor circuit implausible um and one of the common things on these i always check is the upstream pressure we're going to check that anyway and this speed of the engine graph those over you can see that's definitely blocked because it's not dropping as it should do so that'll need sorting out as well Uh, we're just looking for air temperature we've got air inlet temperature it is given a reading but it is common for these to give a reading and still have a high circuit uh, high um, well a fault within this within the sensor is the easiest way to describe it um so i've what i've done on this is because it's it's a foxhole badge but I always find it better to go in as a Renault. So that code is a 009564. If I search this as a Vauxhall, we will get a different code, so I'll show you that. So this is the Vauxhall or Opel system. So what I do is I manually sort of go in and say this is a Renault traffic. Uh, it just works a bit better for me on a lot of the special functions, resets and all of that. So again, if we automatic search it now, under the Opel or Vauxhall system, we should get a Vivaro come up. So there you go, it's a 2015 Vivaro B. Again, we'll do a health report on this one. So you can see on the Vauxhall system, it just gives you a four digit code, which is a P0095, but it does give you a better description of what the fault is, which is the intake air temperature sensor. All of these other faults here I'm going to ignore because these are renowned for just chucking up codes that are not really relevant to anything. You reset them, you never see them again. This one we're going to look into a little bit further. See if we go into the proper system here now we've found a four digit code which is P0095 underscore 100. Okay so we can see if we have intake air temperature sensor 1, 20 degrees which is a a little bit higher than what it is but close enough then we have the second one which is at 50 degrees so if we unplug this first one in this is the airflow meter and you've got an intake air temperature sensor number one here you should see something happen on here there we go you can see it's changing so the second one would be down here if we hit that to the right this one and uh, we're just going to give the wire in a little wiggle just to make sure that everything looks okay we'll unplug that see if it makes any difference no I'm not sure if I've got one of these in the van I think I might have a few of them so we can test the wire in here and 
if need to replace the sensor. Okay, we're just using a multimeter to test the wiring down here and also what I've done is I've just connected another sensor to it and tried to clear the fault code. So you can see the fault code has cleared. Okay, so just to confirm, when we've got this sensor plugged in, around a minute or so after the fault code is cleared, it comes back. And this is reading 52 degrees while it's plugged in. The replacement sensor is reading 24 degrees. Which is a lot more realistic. So obviously the vehicle's ECU is picking up that one sensor up here is reading we've got 20 degrees and then it's 50 degrees once the air reaches down here. So now that we're happy with that, we'll just click this back into place. You can see now obviously once we've disconnected the plug we get also get the P0105 and the intake sensor 2 circuit. Now this is the next step just removing this hose from here this is one of the better type of hoses if you get the one with the black rubber hose on these they're a bit more a bit more delicate these ones seem to uh, be a bit more tougher I am sort of thinking that anytime I'm doing these in the future I'm just gonna request uh, that the customer has a replacement set of these ready before I come because it's really difficult for me to get hold of these you got to get them from either online or uh, a Renault dealer you can't get hold of this specific shape pipe anywhere and I have had a few instances where I've unblocked this pressure pipe down here and if you've got an old pipe that is sort of a little bit perished once you unblock that you get around about sort of two to three thousand millibars of pressure coming up to this pipe and shortly after I've done the repair getting this unblocked the pressure sort of takes its toll on this pipe and it can burst right here so it is best to put a new pipe on it if you're going to do this. So this is some of the stuff that's been done by someone else. A receipt for some of the parts that's been changed. Air mass meter and some sort of pressure sensor, whatever that is. So it's only a couple of days ago. So the receipt that they've got there is for the air mass meter over here. So they've obviously changed the wrong sensor. Um, and the other one, pressure sensor. I'm not sure what pressure sensor it is. It's a 20 quid pressure sensor, so it wouldn't be one of these. These are about 100 quid with the pipe. I think some Renault dealers are asking about 200 pounds for these. So I'm using some DPF cleaner. Put it in this pipe here. Attach that down here. We're just going to let that simmer for a minute. And we're going to put a little bit of pressure on it. Just putting some pressure on it. Around about 2 bar of pressure is usually enough before it pops off, but we'll let it let it hold like that for a minute we'll see if we can increase the pressure but it might pop off it's going to soften up the soot before we can drill it out okay we'll take that back off you'll see a little bit of soot coming out so we now have made our way through that pipe using some cable here attached to a drill. This is a guitar wire, G-string I think. Now if we connect that back here to the pressure gauge, we should have no pressure. That's what should be happening. So we'll now disconnect that again. So with the engine running, now you've got to be careful when you're doing this, engine has to be running and we're just going to put small amounts of cleaning fluid, DPF cleaner down that pipe just to make sure it's cleared through. This is also gonna recirculate back around and make its way down to the DPF. Okay, now we've driven it around the block and we're just confirming that these graphs are moving at a very similar rate. That's it, we're all done on the Vauxhall Vivaro and I'll see you on the next video.